G'day folks, the, um, my name's John and I'm going to tell you a sort of abridged life history so it's not going to take too long so don't panic and run away. I was born into a world of white male privilege without even knowing what it was. You know, farming down south, western suburbs, private school, University of Western Australia and most of my friends were of similar ilk and we lived in this bubble where when you're in a bubble you can't actually see what it looks like from the outside it's just your reality so we had privilege that other people didn't have but we just thought that was ordinary life so since then in the last decade or so i've experienced another sort of privilege a really exciting sort when you're living on this country and that was initiation into Aboriginal law and culture in the Western Pilbara, a town called Robin, law grounds, um, you know, 20 mile out of um, Robin at Woodbrook. So it was a world of, that took me or opened my eyes to a, the beginnings of a, a life in Aboriginal law and culture. Even though I don't speak the language, and I wasn't raised in that culture. I still have this window into it that many people don't know. And the important thing is not about the black male privilege or the white male privilege. It's about how can we get balance. So balance means let's get rid of some of the privilege so that it's just how we all live. Everybody, all of us. And on this country, bringing it back to the blackfella stuff, what that means is we have a Western society, our economy largely, a bit of football, Melbourne Cup, and over here we've got the blackfellas who've been here for, you know, they can't remember how long. And they're two different societies. And the balance we need is not that this one wins and that one losers, the blackfellas, but that it is in balance. And that means our Western society and our blackfella society coming together as one. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs>